like his description of Luther Marshall. I just rinsed the sand off this mask and then I went to dry it and it's frozen. Yeah, ice. They said it was 32 degrees, zero, and my thermometer says 36, which is three degrees. Yeah, one degree above 33. This one needs to be sent back to the factory for a, an alignment. Anyhow, yeah, frozen. Frozen. Yeah, that's why I'm so cold. What have I been doing here? I've been sandblasting. After I got sand into the interior, I got a blanket here. Got one more spot to get pitted. And I picked up that transmission, as you've seen, a couple minutes earlier, and I've been taking all the parts off of it. The rusted oil lines, the bent rag joint, and now I'm going to take off the big pitman arm, which is worn out. What a dumb thing GM did. Put the link in the pitman arm, the pivot. Worn out. And I took off the transfer case from the good wrench transmission, which lighten things up. Of course, I busted a bolt. Not that it matters. It's Adapter is so rusted, rotten. One of the bolts, two of them, one of them especially, was so rusty that instead of a 15 millimeter, I had to use a 14 millimeter on the head. Which one is it? Oh, the steering box bolts came right out. Just unscrewed them. Just like they weren't even tight. Just unscrew them. Huh. Whoops. Now that's real good for the camera. One of these bolts, the head was so rusted. Unreal what I deal with here. Huh. I don't know where it went. It'll turn up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, six. There's one bolt floating right here. Stray. That bolt, the head was so rusty. It took, let's see, 15 millimeters. Smaller than that is 9 sixteenths. Smaller again is 14 millimeter. It took a 14 millimeter to get that bolt out. That's how rusted the head was. So whenever this tranny was remanned, it was a long time ago. Anyhow, next I'm going to take off the pitman arm with my impact gun, use my puller that I've had for OTC. I've had that for 30 years, 25 years. I'm going to pull the pitman arm off and send this thing back as a worn out core. I'm going to sandblast one last time and then spray some paint on my rockers because they're not rusted out yet. And then spray some more fluid film after I vacuum the interior. See that? Dust everywhere. Even in my linkage on the oil. Indian bronze is the color. And cream. Tan. Alright, get to work. Frozen. Skid plate, remnants of the cross member and the tranny support. I'm heating up the bolts so I can kick them off. It's the only way to do it, they're Torx bolts. Crank this torch up, my straight shooting 180 degree torch. Crank her up! Luckily, it's not a wooden door, huh? Uh -oh, my door's on fire.
that's not good. Luckily I got the light next to my water bottle so it won't freeze. Door's on fire. Fire's out. Church on fire. Yippee! You spray it with ice cold water. If it's ice cold, it was frozen a few minutes ago. You spray the red hot nut and bolt with ice cold water. And it breaks the rust bond like magic. And you spray the door a little bit. There's my door. I'm going to put this back in the... Oops. Zoom out. I'm going to put this back in the basement. Because otherwise it's going to freeze. That's how cold it is today. Frozen. It's nice and toasty down here. Lights are on. What's the temperature down here on my antique thermometer? That poster's been hanging here since 2001. It is 65 degrees. I can't see well. Because my eyes. 60. And the torch. Degrees 58 14 Celsius FLSTF. Oh boy, I got one of those. Of course, I don't ride it. Probably time to close this door soon. Lights are off. Hope my door isn't on fire. Nope. Fires are all right as long as you catch them at the beginning. Boy, imagine having a fire in your house, the smoke, the water damage, jeez. Alright, I'm going to try to loosen these now. There are Torx on the other side. Junk. Torx. T50, skid plate. I don't have one on my new Arizona Suburban for some reason. Well, I'll fix her up. Well, I couldn't show you all the details. But, I'll show you the remnants. One nut wouldn't come off the Torx bolt. I tried heating it three times, I tried cooling it, I tried doing it when it was red hot, but the threads are mangled. I can dress them now with a thread file. So I took my grinder with my Made in China extra thin cutting discs. Thin, huh? I think they were a buck each from China. Smith and Arrow, made in China. Yeah, dollar each, including shipping. Cheap. So I just cut the nut into three pieces and it disintegrated. Same thing with this transmission mount. Doesn't look to be too bad. I just put a couple slices in the nut and it came undone because it wouldn't have come undone otherwise. So the nut's scrapped now. And I can dress the threads. I just caught them a little bit with the uh, grinder. Could have done it with the torch, but that's even more deadly. See the groove in the threads? Anyhow, that's how it goes. So, spare part. Mount like this, probably 30 bucks. Made in China. And there's my skid plate for my green pickup, which for some reason is missing one, or is it the... Uh, Arizona Suburban missing the skid plate. It needs to be cleaned up. It's corroded. I think it's time to close up shop. It's after 7.30. And I'm freezing. And my water bottle is going to freeze. Alright. i got to close the doors in the Suburban. I'll pick this up tomorrow. I'm going to put my impact gun away. $250 Ingersoll Rand. Then I went to a flea market pawn shop a few years ago and the guy had this one on the shelf. It was almost brand new and I looked at it and I said, this ain't no friggin' ten dollar made in China one. Made in Japan. This is a top quality one. It's even stronger than that Ingersoll Rand, which at the time was supposed to be the strongest one you could buy. One of the strongest ones. Really strong. This one's even stronger. No this one friggin' will bust any bolt. What brand is it? 2000 series. Can't see what brand it is, but boy, this thing is strong. They gave it to me for 15 bucks. I think he thought knew it was worth 40. <laughs> Probably 400. That's a really good gun. Alrighty, I'm gonna put my torches away. A straight shooting torch, good for exhaust manifold studs. 
tomorrow. Supposed to get some snow tomorrow night. Eight inches of wet, 30 centimeters of wet, or 25 centimeters of wet slop. I gotta put this strut thing on for the engine. It's painted now. I had to shorten it because for some reason the alignment wasn't the same once I added this. Even though it aligned on my 89 transmission transfer case, it didn't line up on my 84, which is the same thing. 700R4, 208 transfer case. Actually, that one there is a 241, but it's the same thing. All right, this is junk. More steel. My man's in Atlanta. I got the radio going. I know all about it. You hear it in the background. Got my phone sitting here. Worst phone I've ever used. Absolutely the worst Samsung. Total junk. Dime store. Not even dollar store. Now the battery's going dead. I got to keep it charged up during the day. GMC. Fish Islands.